I'll, I'll pay the 20 bucks. Thanks for saying that. <laughs> Good morning. Today I'm going to show you the day in the life of a core power yoga instructor slash manager. These are just my views, not the company's. Let's go to work. If you look behind me, I guess you can't see right now, but there's a lot of traffic. Most important thing is walk to work every day. I used to skate, but now I'm just walking because I sold that skateboard. There's always a line of cars right at 9 a.m. My work is about a 15 minute walk from home, so it's super quick, I just get there quickly. And I, I go to work at random times during the week, depending on who needs to be there at what times of day. And easy peasy within seconds we have arrived. Oh, the door's locked. I got to unlock the doors. Oh, Melinda's to the rescue. Hi, hello, man. hello. <laughs> Welcome to Fi Dye San Francisco. Where is I'm one of the founding fathers, right, Melinda? Yes, exactly. <laughs> well, this is the studio that I used to manage. I don't manage anymore, but I'm gonna walk you through the day in the life, quote unquote, of what it's like. A tour of this place, as you can see, that's the front desk. That's the storage closet, returns, there's the fi dye sign, the retail, more retail, the windows outside of the beautiful San Francisco, uh, more cell racks, towels, the sign, and the office. The video's not working. Okay, we're in the yoga office. We're in the yoga office? We're in the office. As you can tell, there's yoga mats behind me because we're a yoga studio. Aren't you happy I'm making this video? <sighs> Somebody help me. <laughs> oh man. Oh man is right. <laughs> but in this office we got the printer, we've got office supplies, we got all the things we need to make get the work done. And the reason that we show up at different times of day is because different there's multiple managers and they conquer the whole map of the opening hours as a team. And some days you'll be in at six, some days you'll be in at three PM. It just depends on the day. But you still get in usually eight hours to ten hours a day. And it's a blast. You hang out with people, you do office work, you eat food, and you do yoga. Part of your job is to do yoga, which is really cool, and you just listen to music. Hey, Siri. But yeah, we've got like a doctor's office chair right here, a microwave to make food up there, freezer and a fridge to put other food down there, and Apple laptops to get our work done on. Oh, I got four minutes to my meeting. I better stop making this video. <laughs> Intensity up on the next class. Turn it up! Meeting done! Have your friends here. Say hi, Allison! Hi. I'm, doing a, I'm doing a day in the life video of what it's like to be a core power instructor and manager. Not only is a big part of our day doing computer work like emails and communication and getting things set up, getting things printed, getting the studio looking good, but also like, yeah, making the studio look good. So, like, rolling towels, cleaning mats. Uh, just keeping the space clean, making sure the people who help keep the space clean are keeping it clean. Um, and just being like the on the ground troops and the leader behind everything that makes the place run smoothly. Instructors are here, all their questions are answered if anything comes up for new students. Um, helping out with that at the front desk, so we always gotta make sure we're helping out the front desk and all that jazz. And then when shipments come, you know, you gotta make sure the door's unlocked. How's it going? Okay. Oh, we got lots of stuff today. Boxes, so there we go, like ordering new supplies for the studio, whether that's shampoo, body wash, conditioner, that's all in those boxes right over there. Ordering new mats if the mats are falling apart. Um, unpacking retail boxes, getting the retail lined up and looking good. Uh, making sure the mat towel return bins are all empty and uh, the space looks clean, the music is playing, the speakers work, and the hallways are nice. So we have to do all of that work inside the studio space while at the same time uh, making sure that the studios are hitting their numbers because it is a business. So we've got to make sure that we're getting enough students. How do we grow the student space? How do we invite more people to come practice yoga? How do we get the instructors excited about teaching? So all that goes into that working and managing a studio space. Sometimes you got to put on the Ghostbuster vacuum, right Brooke? All the time. 
The coolest part is that we're already given playlists, we're already given sequences that we can use, and then we just check people in. So, hi, how's it going? I'm gonna check you in. Boom. Hello. Hi. I like to make my own playlist, but there are playlists that are provided for you. And there's a magical book that I can't show, so I'll show you instead. And I review the book to see which sequence I'm teaching as I check people in. It's that easy. Let's make it happen. Monday. I'm juice Monday right now. All right, just taught class. Obviously, I'm naked, but I have shorts on. And I kind of lost my voice. I forgot to do vocal warm ups. Make sure you do vocal warm ups before you teach a class if you don't have a microphone. And that's the day in the life. And then after this, I'll just shower and go home. And that's it. It's great. I said goodbye to my students. Bye, Lauren. Thanks for taking class today. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> and then they walk out the door. <laughs> that's a real life scenario right there. Done showering, cleaned up. I forgot to mention what I eat for lunch and dinner is usually these little pre-paid, pre-made packs. They're frozen. I put them in the fridge the day before. And then we've got a microwave right over there. And you just slide in the microwave. And I have like my own utensils here. So I have like a fork and knife and all that. Cut it open, put it in, four minutes, eat it. It's like 800 calories, feeds me, it's great. And that's how I eat on a daily basis. Not ideal, but it's better food than like processed food, but it's super convenient. Today's a monumental day, so I gotta record it. I just made it on Lululemon SF's Instagram. That's so dumb, but it's okay. This part is my hand made it on Core Power Yoga's Instagram. My mom would be so proud, right mom? She doesn't know what Instagram is. <laughs> and I taught my last class at Core Power, if I die. Get in my, no, get in my Insta story, Sherman, how do you feel about Let's your- Let's do it. But <laughs> tell me about your Core Power instructor. Yes. What do you like about teaching at Core Power? I'm just like, what's your, what's the day, what's the two hours like of teaching? It's my favorite part of the day. I get to see all my best friends and I also get to teach students that share the same passion as me. And it makes me happy. Nice. Cool, I'll, I'll pay the 20 bucks. Thanks for saying that. <laughs> I'm <laughs> kidding. It's a, that is it for the day. Bye! <laughs> and we just head out, go home, and it's, if you look outside, it's pouring rain. This is San Francisco for you. you. Start out sunny, end with rain. Well, I work right over there, and my favorite absolute store is right over here. Amazon Go is super convenient. Hashtag ad, not an ad, but I love it. I go get snacks and food there every time, usually when I'm working. Just hop on over, and grab a bite, and go back to work. The best part about walking home is I get to walk past Transamerica building. And the worst part is I gotta walk up this hill. Let me know what you thought of this video. I hope it kind of gave you a little bit of insight into what it's like to teach slash manage at Core Power Yoga. It's kind of quickly put together, but a little bit of insight, my perspective, my view of living in San Francisco and doing that. I wish I showed more, I don't know. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments. Like, subscribe, I'll see you later, peace. Wow, I can't talk. <laughs>